Dave Johar for the Boxing Boys. Pleased to be joined by Isaac Chamberlain. How are you, Isaac? I'm very good, thank you. Good stuff. Um, first of all, congratulations on the victory. You got him out of the start of uh, round number two, retired in the stall. Um, did you expect it to, to go a bit longer? Were you disappointed? Yeah, that's, that's, that initially was the plan. You know, that initially was the plan. But, um, you know, all I can say is I'm just happy we both got out there healthy. You know, we both got out there healthy. And um, I'm definitely looking forward to the fights in the future. More, more bigger step ups. I mean, um, going into the fight as well, prior to this, it was about a year, isn't it, since you yeah. last fought Matt Sen. Yeah. Um, is it. Is it psychologically difficult to shake up the cobwebs? Do you just keep positive? Um, uh, not really, because I was always in the gym. I was always in the gym working with Bobby and Danny, you know, the two best kept secrets in British boxing. I believe that, you know, and uh, we've stuck to such a tactical plan that we've just been working diligently on the drills and the things that we're going to practice, you know. So I'm just grateful that I have these great coaches in my life. I just I heard as well, like when you walked in, they said heavyweight. I mean, what was what was that all about? Oh, only because um, both of us weighed in just over the cruiserweight limit. That's all. Okay, I thought you were going to make an announcement no, 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 or something no, no. like that. No, no, no. <laughs> I thought it was going to be, what was it, the, the bridge away? Or the, no, no, I'm yeah. not doing none of that. Yeah, no. nothing like that. You're sticking firmly on Cruiser, yeah? Cruiser, yeah. So moving forward from this then, af after today, what what's the plan later on for this year? Like, and also um, I have a fight day? November the 12th and December the 11th. So we're both um, that I'm working with, with Mick and uh, both big step ups as well. So I'm just looking to get as active as I can. Good stuff. And uh, just wanted to pick your brain really as well um, on Fury versus Wilder 3. Uh, you spent a bit of time with, with a big man Wilder as well earlier on in your career. Um, what do you think is going to happen on the third time round? Do you think uh, we're stupid to count? Well, not we, but do you think people are um, stupid at the end to count of the day, Wilder, Wilder? At the end of the day, Wilder always has a chance. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, Wilder always has a chance. <laughs> this guy is full of faces. Has a, he always has a chance, a puncher's chance. And, um, you know, Fury is an amazing boxer, an amazing master boxer. So, um, honestly, I really don't know. And, you know, he's been training, um, Deontay's been training with Malik Scott, who's a good friend of mine as well. So, you know, they've been working, really working. Deontay definitely wants revenge. But we'll just have to see, man. Thanks for Isaac. All the best, mate, from the boxing boys. We'll catch up with you soon. Thank you very Take much. Care. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing boys. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, from title, betting shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.